Hello, everybody. I am Anil Chubukcu, and I am a PhD candidate student at Istanbul Gedik University, Institute of Graduate Studies. I will present our study, which is named A New Approach to Measure the Effectiveness of Pi-Test Practices at Workplaces, 5 day. This study has been carried out together with Dr. Mustafa Yalumla, again from Istanbul Gedik University, and Professor Dr. Hakan Tozan from Istanbul Medipol University. Yes, and now I will continue with the other slides. I will start with the introduction section. In today's competitive industry conditions have led businesses to develop best business practices to improve productivity and occupational safety and make them sustainable. This requirement has promoted lean thinking, which serves to develop systems to meet customer expectations in the fastest and most efficient ways. Lean management principle is a product of lean thinking. One of the most important tools of lean management is the 5S principles. 5S, which is a method applied to make working areas clean, tidy, and suitable for purpose, has been accepted and implemented by all businesses that have adopted lean management techniques today. In addition to implementation of 5S principles, it is also crucial to understand how well the company understand the requirements and deploy in the working environment or in the organization. This article describes a new methodology with examples to evaluate and measure the effectiveness of those 5S principles, practices at the vehicle manufacturing company's plants located in Japan and Turkey. This methodology is named as 5T in this article. In this respect, the study is expected to be a guide for researchers who want to measure how well these principles are understood and applied in companies where 5S principles exist. Now I will continue with the material and method section of our study. This study is a descriptive that explains the methodology developed for observing and measuring at what level 5S principles are understood and applied in an automotive factory, manufacturing land vehicles with examples taken from the field. Scopum and Saint Link. The universe of study is one of Japanese originated vehicle manufacturing companies' plant located in Europe. This vehicle manufacturing plant is the biggest one of all European plants, consisting of all manufacturing processes, including body production, paint assembly, and logistics. The population of company is around 5,500 members. Coming to the data collection for the research, the observations made in the areas of the automotive factory, one-to-one -one interviews with the employees and the company's written procedures and instructions were taken into account. So uh, here I will make a definition for 5T. What is 5T? It's a simple question and there is a simple answer for this. 5T is the general name of the methodology used to evaluate the relationship and compliance of production processes and objects in processes with 5S principles. 
The basis of safety is based on determining fixed position for objects. After ensuring the fixed position, studies such as labeling, coloring, and addressing are carried out. On the left hand side of the slide, you can see a table which contains the principles of 5D. The 5D principles are Teichi, Teimei, Teiryo, Teishoku, Teiro. These are also called as fixed position, fixed address, fixed quantity, fixed color code, and fixed wood. The purpose are also written there. The fixed positions means easy to identify location of equipment and object. Another example is fixed quantity. This is just in time. Fixed address is used for save time to find out. Fixed color code, easy to identify. Fixed route means setting traffic line for safety. On the right hand side of the slide, you can see the uh, explanations, which is in line with those principles. So this graph also shows that the correlation with 5S activity and 5TE activity. Now I will continue with the next slide. This slide explains the assessment criteria. The 5 t assessment reveals to what extent 5S principles are well understood and applied. 5 t is mainly evaluated at five different levels. For each step, there are decision criteria corresponding to those five different levels. Basically, the meaning that the level determined according to the decision criteria corresponds is given in the table below. You can see on the left hand side the 5 t principles and the table also includes which principles is applicable ranging from level 1 to level 5. For example, fixed quantity level 1 is quantity is not fixed for equipment or parts and the best level is level 5. This means that quantity is fixed, visualized and checked regularly was always in line with process changes. The other levels are explained in the table. I will continue with the assessment process. 5 day assessment is carried out using the evaluation levels. The current situation of the area to be assessed is decided by observing what level it reflects from the first to the fifth level for each 5 day principle. The level decided upon is recorded at the evaluation sheet. For example, if the specified quantity of the machinery of equipment is assessed in the area of evaluation, the area is observed according to the line written for this principle. If the required amount for the machinery and equipment in the observed area is determined but not visualized, the assessment for this principle is not as corresponding to the third level and the theory of this score is noted as three. This process is repeated for all other principles in the same manner. In 5 day assessment, there is no average score calculated for overall performance. This assessment reflects five different scores over different assessment criteria. I will continue with the results section. 5 day rules applied and assessed at one of the Japanese vehicle manufacturing plants in the Europe region. Modular assessment has been carried out and findings are summarized as below. Fixed position assessment has been carried out in body division, manufacturing areas, and offices. No level 5 area was observed, but various examples of levels noted. Storage areas were slightly worse than main production lines. Level 1 and level 2 examples mostly observed at those areas. Manufacturing area were better comparing to storage areas. On the other hand, good examples were not deployed throughout division. Overall score of fixed position assessment is recorded as three. The sample photos can be seen on the right hand side of the slide. Fixed address assessment. 
Fixed address assessment has been carried out in body and assembly divisions manufacturing area. Various examples of levels noted including level five. Overall scores of fixed address is recorded as three. Fixed quantity assessment. This is carried out in plastic division manufacturing and maintenance areas. The example vary between level one and five. Overall score of fixed quantity assessment is recorded as four. Comparison of 5T score, 5S condition, and safety level in audited areas. The audited working areas in the organization are body paint, plastic, dye maintenance divisions. Below table shows 5T assessment scores, general 5S condition, and frequency rate of accident of those areas. For 5T and 5S condition, the evaluation ranges between bad and good. Increasing frequency rate indicates worsening condition of safety, thus increasing number of accidents. The frequency rate of accidents is seen on the right-hand side of the table. Discussion. Results shows that 5 is better managed at those locations where 5 day assessment score is higher. In addition to this, there is a correlation between frequency rate of accidents and 5S deployment achievement. Number of accidents per working hours is relatively higher at processes where 5 day assessment score is lower. This result emphasized that 5 day assessment score is in line with 5S achievement, thus in parallel with safety level. It is advised that 5 day assessment scores should be compared with safety assurance level in the long run. The longer period it is observed, the more definite results can be consolidated. All in all, 5D principles and scoring is a primary assessment tool to measure how effectively 5S principles are implemented in the organization where this study is carried out. So this is all from my side and thank you for your listening.